right, everybody. So I have my jar of um, alfalfa seeds. They've been soaking for, they so started them Saturday evening, rinsed them throughout the day Sunday, and then drained them off this morning. And we're going to start with just a small tray just to see how the experiment goes because I don't want to waste the seeds to fill an entire big tray if it's not going to work out. But from what I've read and looked at, we should be able to just cover the bottom of this tray with the seeds, keep them from overlapping as much as possible, but cover the bottom um, and then cover it with a towel and let them germinate for a few days keeping them moist. I have a little spray bottle that'll mist it to keep it moist. And then in a few days we should have some good alfalfa sprouts. Let them sit in a sunny area for a couple of days after that and we should have a good little patch of alfalfa that we can split up between the rabbits. So I'm going to get these laid out in the tray and check in with you guys in a little bit. Alright, so there is our first tray. I do think I have enough seeds in here to do another small tray that I have. Um, from what I understand, the trick is to make sure that you have a thick enough layer that you cannot see the bottom of the pan through the seeds, but keep it thin enough that your seeds are not all overlapped with other seeds, because then they won't um, germinate as many seeds. Um, seeds so this tray is as full as I want it to be like I said I do believe I have what I need to start another tray so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna get them set up on the shelf well I got the smoker put away and decided to come in here and see how the back side of the well, the south side of the barn was looking probably would have helped if I had turned the lights on up here, but I did not. Now you can definitely tell where it pushed out some. It's still not as bad as what it was. And it looks like the braces are holding. But I figured I'd share what I was doing, which is pretty much just taking a look at it. I want to say it was almost twice as far in before I, well, did all this to it. Actually, it was at least twice as far in. So it's still holding up okay. <clears throat> but, like I said, I figured I'd share what I was taking a look at. Well, I have not gotten down to the barn. I've been in the Quonset hut getting the kindling gathered up which there are actually three boxes in there and putting a new saw blade in the table saw but I've been in here trying to tidy up a little bit probably gonna continue to do that just uh, well needs cleaned up a little so I'm probably gonna work on that for a little longer figure out what all I can actually get into Oh, the other thing I've been doing is I've been taking some of the longer boards from for the firewood and splitting them down so that we can actually put them in. Just some of the ones my son has split are a little bit on the long side for that. So I've been trying to deal with that as well. 
She Kitty decided she wanted to cuddle with Piper this morning. Good morning. Yes, Piper still has breakfast all over her face. We just had eggs and toast. But She Kitty climbed right up in Piper's lap and Piper is petting her. Ooh, Piper has a hold of her alley paw. Okay. There we go. I just thought I'd share with you guys because it was cute. Well, Seth is emptying the wagon for me. Not aiming for perfect by any means. Just trying to make it a little bit easier. And getting there. But I figured I'd show you how it looks now. So, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we have our two trays covered in seeds for alfalfa. I do have a germination mat underneath of them. I have it elevated off the wood with a wire rack from one of those little quick build greenhouses. Um, it is a very low heat mat, so it's just enough to help keep them warm enough over here in the corner. Because this is the end of the house that the wood stove just doesn't get to. I'm going to cover them each with a, lot, a light cloth that will keep them in the dark for the next couple of days. It said you just lift it and keep them nice and moist and then I'll give you guys a peek at it every day we'll see how it goes I'll catch you later all right as well as getting those two trays set up with the alfalfa spree seeds I did go ahead and start soaking another round of alfalfa seeds and then a round of a tri clover blend that we're going to try out as well. Um, these are the brands that we got. Both are available on Amazon. You can look them up. Um, like I said, we're just growing these as quick sprouts to keep the chickens and the rabbits and the pigs in green things throughout the winter. So hopefully this works out well for us and we're able to maintain it through the next couple months. That is the plan. But I got these little jars that are supposed to be sprouting jars. So I did take what was left of the alfalfa seeds that we had that did not fit in the trays and just left them in the jar to sprout so we'll see how that goes they have these the little top trays once you're ready to start letting them sprout and you're done soaking them you just set the jar in there you rinse them once a day and set the jar back in there so that way it can drain off any excess water and they're able to germinate in there so we'll see how all these go. Like I said, we'll check on them every day and I'll let you guys know how it's going. Okay, so the light fixture that Seth is holding is going up there. Now it's actually gonna be hung on a 10 foot chain. That way it's low enough that you can actually, well, that way it's not on the ceiling itself. But I'm gonna have him on this end. Right now it's braced pretty well, but I don't particularly do heights very well. Not like that. So Seth is gonna give me a hand. We're gonna get that up. Probably going to shift that over a little bit because the original discussion was over the workbench. But, figured I'd let you know what I'm about to get into. 
Well, courtesy of Seth spotting me, we now have another light in here. And I ran it so that the cord should be pretty much out of our way. But that should help a little bit with the lighting. Okay. Well, my day has pretty much turned into me trying to tidy up some in here. Cleaning off around the planer, the cutoff saw, the table saw, trying to collect all the little tidbits that tend to get away from us. Which, it happens. I, but getting it all gathered up so that it can well, more or less disappear and wind up going into somebody's wood burner. But got three boxes of it right now. <clears throat> and a lot more um, moving room. Coupled with the new light which did what I could to uh, keep that up high enough that nobody's gonna knock it with a board or anything and enough out of the way that keeps it at least relatively convenient. But I figured I'd show y'all what I had gotten into. All right, everybody, so here is our applesauce all finished up, canning jars heated and ready to go, lids in the pan ready to go, and the water bath can are getting nice and warm. So I'm going to go ahead and get this jarred up and in the water bath canner, and then I made some turkey noodle soup for dinner with the last of the leftover turkey from... Um, Thanksgiving and a jar of the turkey bone broth that I made. I made one can and did not actually can it. So we're using that for dinner tonight. But that's where we're at for the evening. I will check in with you guys later. Alright everybody, so this is where I'm going to leave you for the night. I've got the seven quarts of applesauce canned that we had going today and then what was left over the applesauce I added some spices to and I'm gonna let it simmer overnight and by tomorrow morning we'll have some apple butter and it'll probably get canned tomorrow so this is where we're gonna end for the night hope y'all have had a great day and we'll catch you tomorrow